Yeah, because uh, Tati doesn't like them or didn't like them. Well, no, the thing is, I didn't know until your father and I went to Israel. I had I didn't know that eating black eyed peas is um, supposed to be one of the ceremonial foods. Yeah. I had no idea. I was never taught that. And we went to Israel. That's when um, we stayed at this hotel where Rosh Hashanah, they had like a big, you know, table full of all the ceremonial foods. I'm looking. I see kale and black eyed peas. I said, you're about what? I said, man, that's soul food. I mean, especially from Baltimore. We know about that. Um, but, um, yeah. And I, I asked an Israeli lady who works at our school about it. She goes, oh, yeah. You're supposed to also eat black eyed peas. Well, your father said the reason he never liked black eyed peas was because he says they're looking at him. They're always looking at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same reason for eating the head of a fish. You know, like the eye of a fish is always open, that your eye should always be opened, that type of thing. So I guess when you were, was there ever a time that you didn't celebrate Rosh Hashanah? Um, no, not really. As my, um, there was, as a matter of fact, uh, even during my atheist years, what happened was I was working at Burger King and the owner, um, the owner, like, kind of convinced me to come to work on Rosh Hashanah. And I've got, what happened was the day before Rosh Hashanah, I couldn't do it. Even though I was, you know, I wasn't religious, I was very atheistic, whatever. There was something about me that I said, you know, I just, I can't do it. And I called him up. I said, I'm sorry. I said, I can't do it. I can't come into work tomorrow. That's it. Even as, it? even as non-religious and anti-religious as I was, somehow there was something about Rosh Hashanah that I just, I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I had a, like a certain feeling. I was noticing something too, that um, even before I became religious, there was something about the month of Elu and Tishrei that I felt like a certain, how can I say, like a certain seriousness about the air, about the, the milieu, about the environment. I don't know that I picked up, I guess I picked up like when there were certain vibes that I kind of picked up on, like the seriousness of that time of the year. I couldn't put my finger on it. All I knew was that I felt like a certain like, tension that something serious was in the air. Yeah, there's definitely something like that I feel now where like there's definitely a feeling of stress, like a level of stress and mm -hmm. concern and worry. Yeah. That's, that's what I feel right now. Concern and worry. <laughs> but like I always think because th last year, I remember I 